Hi everyone, how are you guys doing today? Raceboy here for another Forza Tips video and this video is going to cover cornering. So the first thing I wanted to start off with is different types of cars will like different types of uh, cornering or handling corners in different types of ways. So for example, a full grip car is going to want to handle some corners differently than a speed car. Uh, so basically in this video I'm just going to show you guys the basics and stuff like that. Uh, maybe in later videos I'll do specific certain ways you should tackle corners if you're running a speed car or a front wheel drive car. Um, things will be a little bit different depending on what you choose. But this will give you general knowledge on um, what you should be doing and looking for as far as corners are concerned. So I want to talk about the importance of corner exit. If you're going to sacrifice one part in the corner, you want it to be your entry because the exit is the most important part of the corner. Basically, the way to look at it is entry is just your entry into the corner. But when you're going in through your exit, um, your exit is the exit of the corner along with everything straight after it. So you want to get as much of a drive out of the corner as possible because you want to have as much speed on that straightaway coming up. Um, your corner entry is just corner entry and it kind of messes with the mid middle of the corner a little bit but your exit as long as you have a good exit you will be uh, you will be doing well so I'm gonna run through a couple corners around uh, this track Mazda Laguna Seca and I want you guys to see basic you know uh, entering from the uh, far side of the track uh, entering wide as wide as possible hitting the apex on the inside and uh, coming out as wide as possible and using up all the track that's really important when you guys are cornering you guys will learn from experience which rumble strips you can run over and which rumble strips you can't run over uh, generally the, co the, uh, the rumble strips on this track are quite forgiving um, in real life I've heard otherwise but in this game they are forgiving so the, you can pretty much eat all the rumble strip you want and maybe a little bit of dirt on the inside occasionally so here you want to come in really wide go in clip the inside and come out wide and make sure you have a really good exit here's the same thing here so basic corners a little bit of dirt but basic corners very simple go in wide clip the apex on the inside get on the gas come out wide Nothing special here. Just basic corners. Same with that little kink. Regular apex point, all that good stuff. Regular entry, regular exit. Nothing special for those corners. Now coming up here on the last corner of this track is quite a tight left hand corner. So for this corner, what I like to do is I like to maximize my exit by having a really late turn in into the apex. Now what that'll do, rather than having a regular turn in, is just to make sure you can get pointed straight and get on the acceleration as fast as you can, as hard as you can, on your exit of the corner to make sure that you can carry, down, uh, carry a lot of speed down the straightaway. So it's a little bit different in the fact that uh, I'll be entering wide, that's normal, but I'll be waiting and waiting and waiting to turn in really late, clip it, and then get on the gas quite early on a corner that tight so you kind of just you have to be patient with the corner and if you're running with somebody if you're running in a race a lot of people will dive underneath when you do that and um, you kind of have to be aware of what's around you and if you're gonna turn in really late into a corner to get a run out of it like that you want to make sure that there's no chance that anybody's gonna dive underneath or try to pass you or if somebody does dive underneath you don't end up clipping their front end and wrecking both of you at the same time so take that wider line if that happens so now I'm going to demonstrate a double apex corner now there are multiple ways to take double apex corners you can hold them tight which grip cars will like you can clip the inside on the of the first half and push out really wide and then kinda square it back and clip the apex on the second while accelerating straight out and generally faster cars will enjoy that um, but what I'm gonna show you guys is just a basic way to do the double apex corner um, and the first corner on this track is a double apex corner so we'll hit it up and uh, I'll kind of show you guys what I'd like to do around these corners you can run multiple different lines around here as I said but 
just as a general uh, general corner exit exit and entrance here. So clip both of them and get on the gas on the exit. A little bit of dirt, but that doesn't really matter too much. All right, next up, I want to show you guys a sweeper corner. So basically, sweepers are long sweeping corners, how they got their name, um, that turn generally not quite sharp, but uh, for quite a while, and they're corners that you're in for a, for a long time. So up here on uh, Sonoma is the downhill left-hand sweeper. And this corner is, is quite well known and quite an awesome corner, but it poses a couple challenges. Uh, grip cars will like to, you can kind of slightly double apex it with a grip car, but you don't want to push out too wide. If you're running a power car, which you shouldn't be on this track anyways, uh, you're going to want to double apex this, but I'm going to show you a basic line through this corner. Um, so on this corner, you, of course, like every single corner, you want to use up all the track. So you want to enter wide and uh, kind of hug the inside a little bit, clip it, and then push out really wide on the exit. Now at the, it, at the exit of this corner, the suspension will compress on your car so you can get a little bit extra traction on certain points. And then it will release a little bit once, it flat, once the, uh, the race track flattens out. So you can kind of use that to your advantage, which is especially useful in front wheel drive cars. A uh, little tip there. So let's, uh, let's see if I can hit this. So you're going to want to come up here, hug this around, push a little bit wide, come back across the track, enter wide, hug it around, up the bottom, and push out wide. So that's a general sweeper line. You might want to hug it a little bit tighter depending on what kind of car you have, but um, that's normally what you should be running around there. So this next uh, next section is the fast S's on Sonoma. So these S's are really fun to drive. And one thing that I um, I learned from a professional racer who races here very often, my buddy Ken, and that I kind of noticed myself is these S's like to be early apex. Now what that means is you want to hit the apex a little bit early in the corner, or the you know I guess kink or slight sweeper. Um, just to get the best exit possible out of the corners. Now what that means is you're basically hitting the apex of the corner a little bit early just because of how the corner is laid out and how the exit is. So in order to push out wide and carry the most momentum and the most speed on your exit, you're going to want to hit that apex a little bit early just because that's what the setup allows you to do and wants you to do and that's how you can get the fastest time here. So one thing about this is sometimes it's unpredictable uh, depending on what car you're driving and depending how fast you're going and pushing through here. But you want to kind of early apex these corners so you can run these rumble strips and push out wide and use the track to your advantage. Hug around here, straddle this a little bit, early apex, get on the gas ASAP and push out wide. So now I'm going to cover a chicane here. So the chicane coming up is the chicane that the Indy cars use when they're running on this track. And this is an extremely tight chicane. So what you want to do is, as I showed around Mazda de Guneseca, you want to kind of turn in quite late to this, just so you can get as much exit as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay over to the left, use all the track like usual, and then clip the apex quite tight on the right side, and kind of stay over to the right a tiny bit, and then turn back to the left really sharp and try and exit that corner as straight as possible to get the most drive out of the corner as I can. So obviously when you're exiting a corner, the straighter your car is, the more acceleration you can use on your car. So that really comes into play when exiting a corner this tight. So I'm going to stay over to the left, clip the inside on the right, stay to the right a tiny bit longer, then shoot back to the left, clip the apex on the left, and try and shoot out of the corner as straight as possible. Now I'm going to cover hairpin corners. Now hairpin corners are interesting in that they can be taken two different styles basically. There are two ways to take this, double apexing it, treating it like a double apex corner, or just hugging it most of the way around. 
Um, now they're similar to sweepers in the ways that you can take them, although very different. Um, they're generally, basically a sweeper is a stretched out hairpin corner, um, depending on how, uh, how far the sweeper goes around. Um, so you can double apex it, as I said, uh, which faster car or speed cars will enjoy more so that you can shoot out straight or grip cars will like to um, tug the apex along a little bit more just so that you can maximize your grip and uh, where you can gain speed with a grip car. So I'm going to show you guys a basic hairpin corner. So of course enter wide use of all the track, flip the apex on the inside, hold it around a little bit, then exit wide, straight to the wall. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys late apexing a corner. Now this corner coming up on Road America, the sweeper corner, does have some weird things to it. So basically, you wanna hug most of the corner and then kind of push out a little bit in the middle of it and then cut back down and uh, clip the rumble strip and apex it at the end of it to push out wide as you accelerate. The reason that that works well with this corner is that uh, it doesn't stay the same the whole way, so it changes while you're running it. So as I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clip it first to begin with, push out a little bit, and then make sure I make uh, come back down for the late apex on the corner. And you guys can um, run a wide line all the way through it and then cut back down. Uh, that's normally beneficial if you're running a, um, a power car, which you might wanna do around this track. So come in wide. Very decent amount of speed. Kind of get down there, push out wide. And then get on the gas for the late apex there. And push out wide on the exit. Alright, so I want to show you guys another late apex corner. So this next corner on Monza is a very awkward corner. It, um, it starts out and it's very unpredictable if you're not used to it. Um, it starts out kind of normal and then it tightens quite hard at the end. So it'll catch you off guard and basically throw you off the track if you try to take it like a normal corner. So what you have to do is you have to late apex this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in wide with a wide entry. Um, obviously use all the tracks you want to stay as far left as you can. But I'll keep the car wide for a little bit and then cut back down, apex the corner late, and then come out, come out, uh, use, the, uh, use the throttle to push my car out wide. So I'll stay wide for entry and keep it wide for a little bit and then I'll jump down for the clip and then push it wide with the throttle on the exit. So stay wide, stay wide, get down, clip it, get on the throttle and push it wide for the exit. Alright so lastly I want to show you guys how to take a corner like the first corner of Spa which is basically a hairpin that is 180 degrees instantly. So. You, what you want to do is you want to treat it kind of like how I did the uh, the last quarter on Mazda Laguna Seca. You want to turn in really late and just try and point your car straight on the exit and get as much exit as you can, like out of any any corner in general. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay way left for as long as I can, and then cut back down really hard, and then exit basically on the throttle as soon as I hit that apex. Um, as fast as I can, as straight as I can, to get as much speed out of the corner as I can. So I'm going to stay to the left. Of course, using all the track. Wait, wait, wait. Cut down. Flip it. Come out really straight and fast. And that's how you do a corner like that. So thank you guys so much for watching. That's the last thing I'm going to show you. Don't forget, the exit of the corner is always the most important, so don't sacrifice anything for the exit. Uh, if you're going through a section of S's, what you're thinking about the whole time is how am I going to get the best exit out of this corner or out of this section. So always focus on uh, working towards changing your line or um, driving on a racing line that will make you have the best exit out of a corner as possible. So thanks again for watching everyone. Don't forget to subscribe, check out the rest of my videos. Hopefully this video is helpful for you. Uh, feel free to leave comments below. Check out my Twitch channel. I'm on mostly daily at 2 and 10 p.m. Eastern. Uh, thanks again for watching guys. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you guys later.